Public education is a self-governed, self-protected, very little accountability institution. You don't really know what the teachers are doing. I mean, we got great teachers, don't get me wrong. I'm not, I'm not bad mouthing people. I'm, I'm trying to change a system that has great people in it. Um, those are things that we need more accountability. We, in the charter school world, brings a competitive edge to what's been known as the traditional type of school experience. So that's where we are. We'd love to have you as a partner. Questions? Yes, sir. What do you think of the, of the recording? I'm just going to add about the metrics emphasis on you know, the public school system. Other schools are really pushing metrics, which we know quality is good, but it seems to be, uh, <coughs> I guess, bothering people perhaps. They're not so sure it's delivering the, the end result. You're talking about a metrics in a decision process? In a, in a, well, is that what you mean by the phrase you're using? I think more in terms of outcomes. Yeah, of outcomes, of, of, a, of a system of process to go through to get an outcome. Right. Yeah, that's part of our engineering uh, standards that we teach our kids, engineering design, to go through, to have a reliable thinking process that you can collect data on an issue. And it's part of what they presented to Intel, these kids using the metric system to be able to say, okay, cost analysis, product, uh, availability, materials, what's the best decision out of this process to make a decision on. So we're teaching, that's again part of that critical thinking, that problem solving, that we're giving them ways of thinking and solving problems and we're asking our engineering, we're asking our, our, our STEM industry partners, what would you like as a skill that our kids could come out of our academy with that's relevant to New Mexico. So I have, an, I have an engineering alliance. That's another way you can get involved. Twice a year we meet. We decide on courses that we're going to be bringing in next year and how to make a New Mexico flavor to the courses that we're teaching through our engineering and design and our biomedical sciences. By the way, when freshmen come in to our academy, they have to choose. I'm choosing either an engineering and design pathway or I'm choosing a biomedical science pathway. See, that's like a college. That's different than what traditional school settings are. That, that, that dictates their elective course offerings, freshmen through seniors. So we're grooming them for those careers to step into that post-secondary institution. Good question. Did I answer your question? Yes. Yes. Yes, sir. Uh, my first question is, is what's your take on common course standards? Common Core is where we should, uh, we've been fighting for Common Core uh, at Rio Rancho uh, School District for the last 16 years. Here's why, when we started the academy four years ago, before New Mexico really started ramping it up, we already were Common Core. Common Core has these planks of philosophies, less is more, fewer standards, Teach them deeper. Fewer standards. Teach them in ways that aren't tricks. You know why we have to reteach adding fractions every single year to 90% of the kids in our school rooms? You know why? Because we teach it by giving them tricks. It's an algorithm pattern of steps for them to start with a problem and get a result. And then we show them another trick of how to multiply. And then we show them another trick of how to reduce. And then we show them another trick of no wonder we have to reteach them. It, the miracle would be that we don't have to reteach them. Because we're not showing them what they're doing. We're not helping them understand when you're adding fractions, really, what are you doing? And can I trust that to be accurate? And I'm not confusing the steps of multiplying and adding and subtracting. Because I know what I'm doing. I know what, it sh I know what the estimate should be. That way, when it's out of whack, my problem solving skills is uh, the common core standards are those uh, giving us national standards that we can shoot for all across our nation. But it's less is more. Teach deeper. Teach them what's going on, not just regurgitation of trivia. And watching me and saying my words after me 
and I evaluate how well you say my words after me, written or oral, and then we move on to the next topic. Common Core is project-based. Common Core is giving them a thinking strategy that they can trust. So the Ask Academy was already doing Common Core uh, before the state of New Mexico. So bear with me, do you sure. think that, that kids should be taught how to read an analog clock? Yes. It's my understanding that's not in Common Core. Well, I don't know every lesson that they have. Well, let me ask you another question. Sorry. Is the top cursor camera? Uh, maybe less now than before in, in previous generations. Uh, but I would not teach that. So, bear with me. So, basically, within a generation or two, we could conceivably have children who couldn't read documents that were written in the 1830s because they can't read cursive handwriting. Um, again, I'm not familiar with the elementary school standards that they're teaching in reading and writing. Um, I do, I am more familiar with the math personally uh, and, and seeing the lessons. One of the, one of the issues in the, in the math world is that they're pushing the standards down. Uh, to what was taught in the fourth and fifth grade, now down into the third grade. I have some personal issues with that. But there's many more things that I am warmly embracing uh, about the national standards, which, I mean, should we have a national standard? Mm -hmm. Or should we continue to let the states just kind of do whatever they've been doing? Well, I think that really depends on how good the True. But anything you start with, see, I could have taught my kids in my academy, man, don't try, don't ever roll out anything until you know it's perfect. I'm not sure that's the right lesson I want to give the kids. Yeah. And we, we need, I, I personally feel we need a national standard. In our 21st century, when so many families are moving, and if they move from Mississippi and come to New Mexico, maybe it won't be that much difference. But if they go to Mississippi and go to Virginia or go to Connecticut, maybe it might be different. And we have so much mobility in our country that we need common targets to be able to unite us. Um, is it exactly perfect? I would venture to say no. There are going to be things we need to improve about. But, that, but Common Core is a movement to start uniting us uh, in a common language of targets to be, to be shot at. Yes, ma'am. I believe oh. I would be pleased to help you in any way I could. Morning. I went from um, Mississippi to New Orleans doing infection control, and so I say you can bridge that gap easily with both of those. Uh, I know that our biomed and our engineering easily overlinks mm -hmm. into common curriculum. So, uh, are you on the west side? No, actually, I'm at the main hospital, but I Wonderful. can be anywhere. Wonderful. We do have connections out there, but uh, we do have biomed uh, programs that would, would love your partnership. So. And, and when you move out to the west side, just saying, Rust is prepared because we're getting ready to build a new tower. Fantastic. And we, uh, that's really great. Uh, Rust, we've been there a number of times, and they're very, very excited about what we're trying to do. Again, our population is small, but what we're doing is seemingly pretty powerful in the learning process. And they also have an innovation lab out there that you might be kind of fun. They do. And uh, so we're, we've got, actually I've got a kid, I've got a, a young lady doing an internship uh, at Loveless there on the west side. So uh, another way that you could, sorry? Uh, Loveless? No, no, come easy. So we, we do, but we do have partnerships. That's another way you can get involved. You can open your doors in the companies that you're coming from, uh, offer them an uh, internship, um, and we give them high school credit for it, for their experience working with you. Great questions. Uh, you had another question? Yeah.